Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? I do knitting podcasts, fiber arts, vlogs, anything on this channel. And today we are doing another yarn podcast or Tiffany's Yarn Corner. In this yarn podcast, we just talk about things that I finished, things that I've been working on, as well as just like um, things that I bought, things I want to buy that is yarn related, fiber related, all that jazz, fun stuff, fun stuff. So um, we can get started. Uh, today I'm wearing my finished. Um, it is the Cami 6. As you can see, uh, it's a very like basic gray, but you can see that there's kind of like random stripes here and there. It's very subtle. I really enjoyed the look of that. Um, I knit it with one strand Flora and one strand of my Noro, either Tenon or Kumo. I'm so sorry, I always get them mixed up. Um, but I mixed them two together and they were delightful. They were so nice to knit up. And I think this guy looks really cute on me. I knitted this one in the medium. I think I've told people that I knit it in the small, but it is 100% the medium. I think I knit the small, and then when I was connecting right around here, I was like, wait, this is so small. This isn't going to fit me. So I did kind of stretch it out a little bit, but I think it fits really nice for uh, the medium. Um, I will also say this guy was very fast to knit. I don't know why I thought it was going to take me a lot longer, but I've been like going through tank tops like crazy. And then I just want to show off. This one's like almost done. I just don't have an elastic for it, but this is the shorts. I know crazy. I don't know how we were able to get this all done within like the month because I filmed the previous yarn podcast maybe like a week into August. So to, to like see the progress and see how much I've done is wild um, but this is the shorts um, yeah I have I have a long piece here because I still got to add the band so that's why it looks <laughs> hella frumpy but um, this is just the look I haven't blocked it yet either front and back funsy style and then it's supposed to match and so I can like match it um, even though September is like right around the corner and um, it's probably going to start getting cold in the next couple months, but I don't care. I'm happy I finished it. I'm happy I can wear it for next summer um, or wear it inside because it is pretty warm because it does have like alpaca and wool in it. Um, but I think you can see kind of the striping a little better. I wouldn't call the striping, but it's kind of like very variegated stuff. Um, I will say I was hella confused by this guy. <laughs> Like, just initially from the bottom, like, because you start from the bottom, you knit the separate legs, and then you connect in the middle and then knit up, and then do decreases, but that was partly my fault because I was not reading the instructions. So because I wasn't really reading the instructions, like, all the way through, I was, like, missing a lot of points, and I had to go back a little bit. But other than that, she was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, and I used up all the yarn I needed, and I did, I, I had quite a bit of leftover, so, um, I'll just show you close up, so you can see it. But yeah, I really liked it, it was really fun to do, and it makes me want to make more shorts. But definitely, I'm, I'm definitely not going to make another one of these, just because I don't think I need another one in my wardrobe, but I do want to make more pants, and I think... That's fun. I think that's so fun. <laughs> I think I was like working on this, but also working on Cami 7. Um, Cami 7 was a delight. An absolute delight to knit. I didn't think I was gonna like the broken rib as much as I did while I was doing it. Um, but it was pleasantly... It was very pleasant... No. Pleasantly surprising. Um, having to do it and doing it. Um, so this is Cami 7. Sorry, it's a little wrinkled. I've, I have been wearing it, which I really like that I've been wearing it because I feel like what I'll do is I'll block it or I don't block it and then it just goes into my storage right away and I never think to like take it out immediately. But this guy, this guy has been seeing the light and we're, we appreciate it. I really enjoy the kind of, I don't know, like the, the chest area decreases that create these really nice diamonds. And I just think it's just such a cute piece. It looks very, very legit. <laughs> like, I don't know. 
I really like it. I will say I had a little difficulty on one side of the increases. So on this increase, I found that I developed a lot of holes. So I actually had to cut and like tie them into knots so that they would be more cinched in, which is probably not what I should have done, but I wasn't going to go backwards and redo them because every time I tried to redo it, it wouldn't get any tighter. So, um, but maybe I was just being really picky and I just wanted it to be really tight. Um, I don't know who really knows. Um, I used Mandarin Petite for this guy. I think I used three skeins and that was exactly enough. Like I don't have any left over. Like there is nothing left uh, for this guy. Um, but the three was enough for, I think I did the small and I blocked it in everything and it was beautiful, but I also could be wrong. I feel like I always tell you it's small, but it could be a medium, small or medium, <laughs> either or. But yeah, the broken rib was really nice. It just looks so waffly. I don't even know. It was really fun because all you have to do is one row is knit and then the next row is knit and pearl. And I found that not even bad. I don't know. Maybe it was just the Mandarin Petite because I had, it was very enjoyable. But I was also knitting them on metal needles. So I don't know. Maybe that's just like, maybe just I just chose the perfect combination and it just worked perfectly. And so like, I was on this weird, I don't know, kind of like groove. <laughs> Um, cause I was like doing cami six, cami seven, I did the shorts and everything. So then all of a sudden I was like, you know what, maybe I should just go back and finish some old pieces. So I ended up finishing, I don't know if y'all remember this guy, but this is my Sunday, um, cardigan mohair edition. I don't even know what happened, but we fully finished this guy. And I even added like an extra couple centimeters to the body and... I don't know how because at the beginning of this month we had no sleeves and we had um up to the body but no ribbing sorry the lighting I keep seeing that it keeps changing um but this is how it looks like I wish you could I'm, this is not the right outfit to wear it in at all but I haven't blocked it yet so I think the arms are going to be a little bit longer and I found that the arms were kind of short um, so I did end up adding an extra couple centimeters to the bottom, so the bottom is kind of longer, but the arms are kind of shorter, so I don't know if I should make this guy a bit longer and make, like, the arms a bit longer, or I should just, like, block it, so I think the plan is to block it, but damn, she was beautiful. I also, I was using, I think it was two strands of this random color mart mohair and then one strand of the sun is garden tin silk mohair and i ended up only having to use two and a half for like one strand because you have to hold three strands and i was like whoa that's like nothing at all so i ended up using um i ended up and it, i ended up having a lot of leftover of the tin silk mohair so i am going to be like using that for a bunch of other projects and so that led me to knit the sophie scarf um it is one of the seasonal cows that we're doing on the patreon um but i did it so fast i mean look at me look at how many finished pieces we have it's redonkulous um but this is the sophie scarf the smaller one because there's two sizes for it I knitted it with one strand of taro milk tea from <laughs> Typical Bliss, you know it, and one strand of the tin silk mohair, and it just worked out beautifully. I love wrapping this guy like, <laughs> like this. I just think it's so cute. Like I look like, um, like a lady from The Handmaiden's Tale. But I just think I look adorable. Uh, but I haven't blocked this one yet, so I probably could, in the future. Um, not too sure what I want to do, like, how to style this. Maybe in the autumn I could, like, because I, I keep seeing people wear stuff like this. I don't know if this is, like, my vibe. <laughs> and then I've also seen people, like, wrap it around, like, their ponytails is another thing I've seen. So, like, okay, that looks super messed up, but you, like, understand what I'm trying to go for. Um, so I want to do that with this guy, but we haven't blocked it or anything. And I... I'm planning on making 
a second Sophie scarf, but probably in like a black. And I think the black would be really nice, like the bigger version. And it would just be like a nice little, little shawl thing. Um, but I've like been really getting into shawls. We really want to get, um, and make more little scarfy little things like this. Um, but I really do enjoy the color of this guy. I just feel like just, it has very light differences between the colors, but they're all very similar. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just really proud of, um, this yarn <laughs> really quick but this was just the patreon socks we finished it real easy um they're beautiful 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 i actually blocked these guys i think this is the first sock i've ever blocked and i've knit like a couple socks already um but blocking game changer <laughs> with socks as well they just make them look way nicer like they just actually look like socks um but yeah, this is the typical sock. It's a very basic pattern. I have it up for the Patreons and hopefully I can get it up for um, the, you guys as well. Um, it just takes me a little bit to put it up. But yeah, it's beautiful. It works really well. Love the Regia Tweed. I can't say any more better, better things about this guy. I do have leftover though, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. I find that like the problem with buying like hand dyed socks or like 100 grams for sock yarn, I find that I just have like 40 grams or like 30 grams left over or 20 grams. I think I had one sock that I had 20 grams. You know, it's just like a variation. And um, I just, it's like hard to find like little projects for them. So my goal has been to try and figure out like really small pieces that I can make to get rid of or like use up a lot of this yarn. Um, which has been really fun. It's been really challenging and it's been really nice because I do it on the, I do it for the, the Patreons. They get my little, uh, de-stash patterns, I guess. From that, I love that everything is like a succession. You can like really see my thought process. It was like first the camis, then it was finishing projects, then it was finishing and like de-stashing. Um, I ended up getting really inspired by, if you guys saw the Lavender Fiber Co. Uh, yarns that I got from the last podcast. I was like immediately thought to make socks with them and I really wanted to make something from the 52 weeks of socks. So uh, a pattern that really caught my eye was Oana. Um, maybe I can, from this book, if I can find it. Yeah, so it looks like this it is a beautiful like lace pattern with a really interesting like uh, heel flap. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. I made one. <laughs> I have one sock just because I thought it would have looked really nice with a white just like base um, so this is just how the lace pattern looks like look at how gorgeous she is oh my god stop I love it um I forgot the color but hopefully I'll add it in the description but um, yeah I just thought I really like lace <laughs> and why not let, let's do lace I love this Whoever made this heel flap was an absolute genius. It's beautiful and I would do all of my heel flaps this way. It like just kind of looks like honeycomb or like diamond shape and I really like that. And I really love doing lace because it, there's not much to it. All you really have to do, do is like know how to yarn over and like SSK and knit together. And it's just really, it just goes by really fast. I will say one change I made with this pattern was for the toe, instead of, uh, it, it asks to do every other row you decrease, uh, and then you start decreasing every row, I just ended up decreasing every other row until I got to a certain stitch number. Just cause I like the look of a more pointy, a more pointy toe versus a more rounded toe. Who even knows why I'm so picky, but yeah, um, I have, uh, another sock I want to do though uh, with another Lavender Fiber Coast um, sock yarn because it has cashmere in it. It's like 10% cashmere and I've never worked with cashmere before so I just wanted to do it and it was really nice and I highly recommend if you just like want to splurge a little uh, on your feet but I want to make this sock next. Um, it is the Crispedia. I don't necessarily love the bobbles so I might like half the bobble size but I saw this one on Ravelry that was really colorful and beautiful and I have this color and I just think it would look really fun and different and 
we just want to try something fun. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to have like one sock of each pattern and that's about it because I haven't even started the second one of the Oana, but who cares? I'm still working on the intersection sock, so I don't think we're, we're, I don't think we're getting any better with my whiffs. Okay, from there, I started knitting <laughs> I started knitting children's knits. Um, because we're, I'm going to be seeing my cousins. I have like three baby cousins that are coming in uh, Vancouver and uh, I haven't met them before. So I just thought it would be really nice to make some gift knits for them. So I have been quite busy with the gift knits. And so I've had to recruit my mother to help me uh, knit some stuff. But I was able to finish one. Uh, so this is... Oh, it's so cute! Uh, this is the Oslo Hat Mohair Edition. It is uh, so beautiful. It's by Petite Knit as always. It just looks like this. I made it in the child size because the kids are like two and three. Um, and then there's a baby, but I don't know what I'm gonna make for the baby. I like really want to make like ruffle socks, but I don't know if that's like too wild because I don't know children's feet sizes. I just don't want to make another hat because like that's no fun. I don't know. So it's just beautiful. I knit it with one strand mohair, just a white random mohair, and then one strand of another Lavender Fabrico. Uh, I think it's in Saatchi, but it's just this really nice pink with just all these like pops of like different color of like yellow, blue, purple, green, just everything you've ever thought of. But like the base is pink and I just thought it was really nice and fun. I did find that I found the construction of this guy really confusing which makes no sense it really shouldn't have been confusing to me but what you have to do is like you knit this guy and you fold it and then you have to yeah this is how you knit it and then you have to like knit a, a little section and then you turn the thing around and then you start knitting on the other side so that when you fold this there won't be like a pearl edge around here. As you guys can see, it's still like knit. So like no matter how far you pull it, it'll still be a knit, if that makes any sense. Um, so she's quite, she's a triple folded here, but it's beautiful and I love it a lot. I actually have a second hat going on. Yes, okay, this is the second hat that I've been working on. It is the same size. Um, and it's with one strand mohair, one strand of actually the yarn that I dyed um, for that Rit dye video. And it actually came out really nice. I didn't think that I would like this color, um, but it actually turns out really nice. And I think, I think it'll be like a cute little set and like the kids can like match, right? Yeah, I think it'll work out perfectly and I only had to use about, I think, 40 grams of yarn. So it's a really good piece if you just want to use up, like, like say you use 60 grams for, like, socks. You could use 40 for, like, a little bitty bitty hat. It's so adorable. And if you can notice, I'm also using DPNs. I don't know what happened to me. Here we are. I'm a DPN girl now. I don't know what is happening. Um, but I've been, like, weirdly getting into DPNs. I think... I just like wanted to try it. I wanted to get into it. And it's actually not as annoying as I thought it was. I think it just really took me just the patience to get used to it. And it just looks really cool. I don't know. Does anyone else think that like this is so flipping cool? I don't know. Um, and I just wanted to be able to use GPNs because I really don't like doing magic loop on really small things. So I feel like if I start making more baby outfits, I want to be able to use GPNs instead of magic loop because there's no way you can do it with a short cable. It's just like absolutely no way. Um, so I've, yeah, I've been like doing a lot of GPN stuff and I think I might get like a better quality because these are like just cheap metal ones that I got um but yeah look at how cute she is she's so cute I love her and the mohair just makes everything beautiful like I was going to do it two strands of just like a fingering weight yarn but I felt it and it was just like not fun it was just not fun it was just like too hard and I wanted something like soft and just like cute I just hope these kids will wear it like if they don't wear it because it's like itchy on them 
they have to never tell me. I can never know about that. Other stuff that I've been working on. Um, I have a friend who asked me to knit a sweater for her boyfriend. And I know I have been very vocal about like not really wanting to do a lot of gift knits because it's like so much effort and everything like that. But um, just the idea that she gave me, it was like perfect. I was like, oh, I've always wanted to make something like this and I think it would be really fun. And it's for her boyfriend's birthday, but um, I am making just a basic sweater. Um, this is what I have currently, and you can't see anything at all, which is hilarious. Um, but she wants to add a mushroom on it. And, that, and that's just sent me, just to the moon. I was like, okay, sure, of course, I'll do it. Um, I have always really wanted to do something like that. I thought it'd be really fun, and I just think it'd just be such a cute little gift, and she's never asked me for anything, so I was like, okay, I'll do anything for you, please. Um, so I was on a hunt for some good yarn, because I find, okay, okay, hear me out as well. Like, so same with these gift knits, like, these are some really nice yarns, but I feel like I just really didn't want to knit with acrylic. I don't know if, like, you guys are like this too, but I just... Like, I know acrylic is better to take care of. It's easier for them to, like, wash. But I just despise knitting with acrylic. So I was like, you know what? I'm just, just going to treat myself and knit with mohair and a fingering and just, like, have the best experience making this for someone. And that's what I think I have to do now in the future is just to choose really nice yarns. And it doesn't feel like a chore. It feels like I'm enjoying myself because I am, like a progress knitter and a product knitter. So I love the process. So if I love the process of making this, I'm going to be so happy to give it to someone. So we were on a lookout for a yarn that I was going to like because I didn't want to do acrylic, but I couldn't really find a good super wash. Uh, it had to be, she wanted a navy color. So I was like looking on the websites. I was like really trying to find something that was like within budget because I think I'm just gonna ask her, like charge her the cost of the yarn. Um, and I, I wanted it to be budget friendly. I wanted it to be super wash because I needed it to be a sort of wool, um, maybe even like a wool acrylic blend, like literally anything. Um, so I was able to find this yarn that was on sale. It's, I found it on Yarn Canada. I will highly recommend Yarn Canada. This was like the first time I've ever purchased anything from Yarn Canada. And it came really fast. I think they're in Calgary or something. So I was fine. It was fine. Um, it is the Patton's Classic Wool DK Superwash. Yeah, I've never tried Patton's before, which I feel like is so silly because I feel like Patton's would be such a basic. Same with like, I was looking at Cascade um, 220 for some DK weight wool yarn or superwash yarn. And this guy was on sale and I just thought it was a great opportunity um, to buy. I wanted to get a DK weight and not like a fingering. I wanted something heavier so I could have bigger needles to knit with um, so the piece would go by faster. Um, I'm going to base this pattern on the hands home sweater that Petite Knit has. And then I'm just going to, I think it's called, I think it's the duplicate, duplicate stitch. Um, on a mushroom on top because I was not going to do intarsia like bottom like top to bottom and I wasn't going to do intarsia in the round and I was not going to knit flat so <laughs> I love that there are so many criteria that I need to like hit for me to have like an enjoyable knitting process but yeah so this is navy I don't think I'm going to have enough though I bought 10 skeins I'm knitting the medium, so I feel like it's either going to be just enough or a little bit short, so I will have to find um, the exact lot number for this. But I don't think it's that hard, because I think I found it somewhere on a website. The problem is it's just, like, buying it and, like, figuring out the shipping and all that stuff. Um, so I will say this guy's very nice. Very surprised that it's super wash. I find that it's weirdly hard to find like super wash DK weight yarn that's not like hand dyed you know kind of just like this because a lot of like I would have bought drops like in a heartbeat but none of theirs is super wash or at least that's like on sale that I'm willing to buy and I needed it to come by fast because I have to finish this by October so all these gift knits 
we've been we've been trying to finish um and i still have to do bethany's knit because she's still thankfully she's still pregnant but i know that she's like right at the cusp of like having the child so i definitely need to finish that guy the issue with that was i couldn't finish it because i ran out of yarn oh so we were in a whole debacle um because i had ordered the yarn and i didn't realize because i was changing from ordering from cones to hanks and i didn't realize that it, it took like a longer processing time for them to actually like put them into hanks which of course makes sense i was just being a little like impatient girl and i felt so bad um but it came my yarn finally came so i can get to finishing that and i can use my dpns and just have a jolly good old time knitting the sleeves and then hopefully i can send that to her we have been all over the place with that guy um i will show you some new yarn that i got from my supplier i'm thinking of adding a couple more bases into the collection so just to show you okay so currently i have i'm trying out three new bases these are all undyed um but this is uh the stellina i don't know if you can see it it's kind of hard you can't really see the little speckles but it's like silver stellina it just has like this cute little wire of sparkle but it's like 90 uh, 80 to 90 percent um, just to superwash merino and then you have like either I don't know how many percentage of the Stellina but it's really cute I can't wait to dye this this is specifically for the advent calendars so I'm very I'm ready to dye this I already dyed some stuff yesterday because the order came in yesterday and I was like I have to dye stuff right away so we are on a major crunch here right now but it's so cute I just I haven't tried anything with Stellina so I'm really excited because I'm also making myself an advent calendar because why not I'm even going to make like the little notions as well for myself because I just I just deserve it you know um so I can't wait I was talking on the streams and we were talking about uh, if you guys would be interested in me making patterns for each of the big skeins or like the mini skeins But uh, the issue is is that I'd have to make the patterns after I release or like ship out all the items so They will be like released maybe in a bundle or maybe like I'll release them afterwards So if you guys want to like make the exact same things as me you have like all the things We love it. Okay, the next things that I have been looking at I was looking at some nice um, basic kind of summery top bases uh, even though I guess summer is kind of ending but you know what I'm never gonna stop knitting cute little like tops so this guy is 65% silk 35% linen I flipping love this yarn they only come in 115 gram skeins so they might be priced a little bit more expensive if I do end up putting this in the shop but I can't wait to try and dye this guy. This guy literally, I'm, I kid you not, feels exactly, okay, not exactly, but super similar to the Knitting for Olive uh, silk, pure silk. And I just think it would be such a nice alternative. I'm like already thinking about what I'm gonna make with this. Like if I buy another one, like I feel like I'm just gonna like use this for myself, like dye it up and just like make myself an anchor tee or something. Buy two, you know, um, so please, please order some more of these so I can like use it for myself. I cannot wait to dye this guy up, but I just think it's perfect. Um, and then I actually ended up getting this one, which is 100% bamboo, which I wanted as like a more airy kind of airy base. <laughs> um, that was cheaper. So this is like a cheaper alternative, uh, but this is 100% bamboo. I really enjoy using bamboo for the typical tank, so I think trying something with a fingering weight would be really fun. And just having this, even just as like the, this white base, is beautiful. Um, so low key, like these test bases are just like for me. <laughs> um, but the plan is, is I also want to add a uh, cashmere base, so uh, it'll probably be like 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. And then I want to add like a non superwash base. So if there are if there are any other bases that you are interested in, please let me know because I would love to increase the collection and just 
have as many options for you guys to choose from when you want to order. Yeah, I think I only really have two more whips to show. I, sorry, I feel like I've been all over the place, but like, it doesn't matter. This is my whip for the next month's Patreon. I'm going to be making some leg warmers. I think I've seen it everywhere. They're like really Pinteresty or like TikTok or trendy. I don't even care, but I think they look really cute and I just want to like like I haven't seen them anywhere like in the I guess knitting community, but I feel like they're such a core like basic thing to like make. So um, I just thought it'd be really fun to make this. I'm making this with Flora, one strand Flora, one strand Drops Kid Silk Mohair, uh, both in like the whitest color you could have ever chosen. And I just thought, like, let's be bougie. <laughs> And let's be like fun and fresh. Um, and so this has Loki inspired me. I want to make um, arm warmers uh, in this style. So uh, if you guys are ready for the Patreon, we're gonna have like a little arm warmer, arm warmer, leg warmer set. <laughs> um, and again, DPNs. Who am I? But it's been really fun and really enjoyable to knit. I have been complaining a lot about knitting, like using the flora by itself, but like knitting it up with just like. Um, a mohair feels exactly like I would knit it with just like a random fingering like wool. So props to Flora. We we thoroughly enjoy it. I think it looks really nice. Just don't use it single. Just don't use it single and you will have the time of your life. Okay and then just like final final this one's like not even a huge deal and I don't even know if I showed it in the last podcast. I was like again really wanting to like work on old whips try to like finish stuff up you know i've been working on my sunday tea um it doesn't really look like there's any progress but i guess there is i've just worked a little bit more of the body but once i get a bit more of that finished i'll i will finish it for the fall i guess <laughs> um but it's funny uh i've been looking like thinking back to my summer plans video i actually did end up making a lot of those things so it's kind of fun to look back and be like wow I actually you know said what I was gonna do and I really like that so we're definitely gonna have a fall plans uh, in the future but okay so we were working on this guy oh oh she cute oh we did oh oh my gosh we actually have so much progress um so as you guys know I've been working on the Fayuki sweater uh I forgot who it's by oh my god dude I cannot get enough of the smell of Plata Lupi. You don't understand. It is so good. It smells so good. Okay. Um, but if you guys know, I was working on this guy and I ended up doing like crazy increases. I had to pull all the way back, all the way up here. Like that's how much, like I had knit up to here and I had to pull all the way back. So I gained the courage. We finally chose to do good and I kept going and it is looking really good oh my god looking at it from here it looks good <laughs> i was really scared about the color choice because i really wanted it to be exactly like uh the sweater that she made but i ended up um i think i think uh this brown is the lighter brown because i think she uses a darker brown in the pattern and then she also uses she uses this light brown for the gray portion so like i was really worried about how this was going to turn out but it actually looks really nice i really like it um <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, I've been slowly working on this guy. This guy is always really fun to work on, even though it is quite coarse and it breaks a little easier. I do find that I enjoy knitting this. I don't know if that's for, like for everyone, but like knitting such like a rustic like yarn, I don't know. I enjoy it. I very much enjoy it. Um, I do say this is gonna take me a long time. I find that going through every round now just feels really hard and I'm not even at the yoke yet. There's still like a huge section of yoke before I break into the arms. So that's always fun, but I don't mind because I think this would be perfect for like the winter. I don't think I could wear this in the fall. This is just way too hot, but I would just, oh my goodness, this and like me wearing like a turtleneck, I don't even think I would need like a jacket. And I think that's like my goal for the winter is being able to just wear a sweater and that's it. So this is the goal. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it for projects. Oh my gosh, I guess I'll show you. <laughs> 
the progress I've made for the Sunday tea, but also there's no progress. It just looks like this. I just added a bit for the body. And I didn't end up uh, changing the needle size because I think I complained about the threes being a little bit too big and I wanted to move to a 2.7, but looking at it now, I, I don't care. I'm not gonna redo it. Like this took me so much work. But, like, why would I do that to myself? Um, so I really need to finish this because it was so fun to knit. This guy was really fun to knit. I knit this with um, um, Knitting for All of Cotton and I really enjoyed it and we shouldn't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I do have a couple projects in mind, but they're all really small, so hopefully you guys will see that in the next month. Hopefully I can finish it or work on it, but um, that is it for, I guess, whips, things we've been working on, all that stuff, so I guess I'll talk about kind of things that I've got. Um, I also want to talk about, just really quickly, the Patreon um, yarns. I thought it would be cool to add this kind of section in just to show like the month or like the next month, like what yarns you're gonna get so like uh, like people on YouTube can see what they're gonna look like um, I just and it finished dyeing them and they're just oh they're like oh, they're perfect anyway um, because I'm like a month late on the patreon yarns they're going like I think July and August are going to be sent out around the same time so I don't know what to call this guy but this is the set so this is the sock set that you can get um, I Definitely need to like call this something. I never name them anything because I always think like, oh, like these are one of a kind like for one month. I don't need to name these guys, but this is what you'll get if you get the uh, Bulky Bro set. Uh, and then if you are just a fiber fam, you get one mini skein. Um, so this guy is like a pink kind of mauve color. Very simple, very basic. I wanted to do something very just light and warm and just really cute something that would match really cute together just like oh it just looks like a pound cake with like strawberry icing kind of thing and this guy just has beautiful brown tones yellow tones peach tones like what's new you know I love that type of color um, and then I actually ended up finishing the August yarns as well this guy we were going for something like vibrant something fiesta I don't even know but I wanted to try something with more color I find that my color palette is very light and very very like very light and like pastel kind of very peachy um so we wanted to do like 180 like crazy peach but oh my gosh we were going for like sunset vibes oh my goodness this one is so exciting I love the color differences on this guy you can see it's more of a coral dark coral you got the peachy and the oranges it's just very fun and funky and then we got another pink but I would say it's a more warm pink I don't know don't ask me why I'm so into pink right now but it's a more warm pink it has a more not neon but like crazier tone like I think it's really nice to do something similar for these guys so if you are a part of the fiber fam, you could maybe do something with 40 grams instead of 20 grams, like something striped. So I think it'd be really nice for you to be able to, I guess like, use it together, if that makes any sense. Literally, I'm so excited, it's so cool. I like cannot get enough of dyeing. I love experimenting, it's so freaking fun. I think I'm gonna experiment with like speckled now um, and just try some cool and different things so um, I also thought it would be a really cool idea like maybe at the end of the year like if you guys are interested um, maybe like choosing like the top five colors um, from the patreon yarns and like bringing them back for pre-order because I know like yeah it's fun to get one skein but like maybe you really like the color and wanted to make a sweater then you may have the opportunity so I might do a poll at the end of the year um, for the Patreons to see if they want to do that. If they don't, that's cool too, but <laughs> I just thought it'd be a fun idea. Yeah, so I think I've been really good. I haven't gotten any yarn this month, except uh, if you guys don't know, Drops is having a 40% off like everywhere. So we made a little order uh, from Wool Warehouse, but I actually made an order previous because Wool Warehouse was also having a sale. Don't blame me. I told myself I had to because technically I had to because I had run out of yarn for short summer one and canopy number six. So I just bought some Flora. 
we just bought some gray flora. I have extra because I wanted to make a honey pillow in gray and I thought that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, and then I ended up just getting um, drops saffron in white um, because there's this tank top that I really wanted to make that I found online. Um, which is funny that I still want to make it even though like winter is coming. Um, but I'll put a picture above. I don't remember the name at all, but I've already bought the pattern and it's like on my list. I just thought it was so nice because all you needed were, I think it was like four skeins of saffron yarn and like that's only like eight dollars. So I don't know. It just seemed like a really nice piece that I wanted to try. Um, and then I ended up getting Drops Musket because they were having a sale on like all of their cotton stuff. Um, and I wanted to get this guy because I would like to make the boring biker shorts with this guy. Um, just to try it out because I am really curious about the Drops Cotton. I feel like I haven't tried any so I really wanted to try the Saffron and the Muscat. And uh, maybe in the future I can try more. I'm, I'm just hella curious about how this guy knits up and how it feels. Um, and then I just got, I think I just got an extra gray skein because I want to make a chunkier Stockholm v-neck sweater. Um, so that's going to have to be frogged and then redone. I swear that's all I bought. I swear. I'm good. I'm very good. It wasn't a big purchase. I am probably also going to unfrog. If you guys remember, I made the Wednesday sweater. I never ended up blocking it. I think I'm gonna unravel it because Petite Knit is coming out with the Moby sweater and I've always wanted to make a really nice cable sweater and I just think the two would just, uh, cause I was using Lima and I was using a mohair. I just think that one would look way better as the Moby sweater. Um, versus my Wednesday sweater because I knitted in a medium but I found that it was still very small and I wanted it to fit the way it fit on her even though she said she made the extra small but it looks so big on her so I will have to figure out I don't know like another way to make the Wednesday sweater into the way I like it so we are going to sacrifice it and make the movie sweater and I think I'll be really happy about it. Again, I keep noticing the light. It's like dark now. It was like light five seconds ago. Finally, I just want to mention, uh, I pre-ordered this book and I got it in the mail not too long ago. I don't know if anyone else got it too, but it was pre-order on Amazon. It was only like 25 bucks for all these patterns. Again, like I said, I've been into this weird like shawl scarf phase in my life. Um, and I just wanted, I just wanted her to match. Like I wanted her to have her sister, you know, like how could I deprive this lady of not having her sister, <laughs> you know? So, uh, and then when the 52 Weeks of Socks Volume 2 comes out, there'll be three sisters and we'll be really happy. And I've actually, I have like this weird like shelf thing, if you can see there that I've been putting my books and it's, it looks real cute. I will say it looks real cute, but, um, on the stream we did like choosing which scarves I wanted to make cause there's 52 of them and there's no way I'm going to make 52 scarves cause that's crazy. Like I can make 52 socks. I can't make 52 scarves. <laughs> so we've been quite picky because I know, uh, how much yarn scarves uses like it's actually like the equivalent of a sweater which is really scary so i've been contemplating doing another drops uh purchase just to make some of uh the scarves here because a lot of them require like fingering weight and like mohair or like dk weight it's very very thin stuff but um i'll just show you some of my favorites i might do like when i I might do like my top five favorite patterns or like of like the socks and the scarves if you guys are interested. I know people have asked me about that, but the first one I want to make, okay, yeah, it's this guy. It's the deer scarf. I really want to make this guy. I, I just really want a light gray. I think I'm really into light gray as you can see like right here. I want to make a light gray scarf because I think it's like gorgeous. I think having like a hat 
and a scarf combo is everything and my typical hat is super similar to this if you guys can see it's like a nice uh just basic ribbing which is like my typical hat um but it has some nice kind of uh, i think it's lace work here so i just i'm very interested in doing this one uh but for some reason all of these scarves are like three millimeters <laughs> which is like crazy to me because I feel like scarves are going to take me so long because it's knit in the flat. Like, knit in the flat. Knit flat. Um, but I think it's, like, an interesting challenge. Like, I'm always here to learn more. And I think it's really nice learning from different patterns and pattern designers and how they make stuff. So, I really do want to make, like, just, like, a straight scarf and then, like, a V scarf. I need at least one of those. And then there's even a mohair scarf in here that I have to make. So, um... We're going to be busy, and I'm very happy about it. Um, definitely go check this book out if you want to. Um, I don't know if they have it in, like, an indigo or anything, but I love it a lot, and it's it has some really nice... It has some really nice... It has some really nice designs, honestly. Um, there's a couple, like, lace work patterns as well, and, like, I can say only good things. But I will say there are some misses in this book. Like, I definitely don't love every single pattern. Um, so if you're someone who likes to, like, make every single thing in the book, I would say you can look at all the patterns ahead of time on Ravelry and kind of base your decision off of that. But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I don't think there's anything more. I am scared, though, because Knit City is next month, and I have told myself that I allowing myself to buy stuff um during that time and um who knows who knows how much i'm gonna spend because i kind of want to get like a sweater quantity of something and then like bips and bops and then maybe like a roving but we'll see we'll see we'll try to be good we'll try to be good um but thank you for staying to the end of this video i i hope this was fun i don't know if I don't know if we've done, I don't know. I guess, I guess we technically did a lot this month. Um, but as always, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, put, push the notification if you want to know when I post because we do post quite irregularly. Um, but yeah, I'm on Twitch. We have the Patreon. Um, I'm on Instagram. I usually update kind of the most updates on there, like the most accurate updates on my Instagram. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.